It is not a sin to be rich. As long as you are sure of salvation. Amen. Now, now it's got to start with salvation because that's, that's what I'm really targeting. But I had to start with 25 because I want you to know something about money. That money can mess you up when it comes to salvation. Because you'll be more dependent on your money than you will God. Now, what can I do with my wealth? What can I do with my money so my money don't wind up running me in the temptations, in the foolish lust of my flesh? What do I do with my money? What do I do with it? What do I do with my money? The idea that prosperity is the reward of righteousness. That God bless a person with things of this earth if they are righteous and obedient is so foolish that it calls for commitment on our part at this point. Got to be some commitment now on our part at this point. And I'm trying to help someone get out of your mind that getting money is going to make life better. You, you can't get wealthy and forget God. But money will pull you away from God. If you are not sure of your salvation. And that's why, that's why I'm dealing with this matter. I'm going to be dealing with a while too. What do you believe about being saved? What do you believe? Do you believe you can be saved and not changed? Do you believe you can be saved and done the same thing? Do you believe you can be saved and hanging with the same group? Do you believe you can be saved and still in the club? Do you believe you can be saved with a wife and a honey? Do you believe you can be saved with a husband and a darling? What I want you to understand, there are a lot of people in the church who have the wrong conception of being saved. They don't have to change. Because they go to church on Sunday. Name on the church row. Pay your tithes. Been baptized. Take communion. Read the church covenant. Is that a right for you to be saved? I was pulled into this by the lesson in Bible class on Monday night where we looked at this matter, the danger of religion. The danger of religion that number one, lead a person to become self-righteous. That's the first danger of religion. And the next one is to have false security. You think you're going to heaven All security. God's concern is spiritual blessings, not material blessing. God's promised a man that necessity of life would be provided. Food, 
clothing shelter. If he seek God first. But you got to first seek God's kingdom. How do I know I'm saved predicated on the stuff I have? I seek kingdom first. I, I'm not seeking a big bank account first because God have no respectable person, show no partiality. He'll bless any person if their heart is right with him and you're seeking the kingdom first. I do not have my priorities messed up. His kingdom with me. Can I tell you why kingdom with me? Take no money to get to the kingdom. Don't take no money to get to the kingdom. No money. Thank God for that. 